Hi, I'm David Stjernholm and you're listening to the 435th episode of Done. Today's episode is about how to get rid of the small but annoying obstacles to your best work. Winning back time by having good structure is one thing, but one result of having good structure which is just as valuable is the feeling that you work with ease, that things just run smoothly. It's the feeling you get when nothing stands in your way, when you have what you need at arm's length, when you know the place something goes after it has been used, when you arrive where you need to be with a few minutes to spare, and when you can work undisturbed when you wish to do so. In other words when everything just falls into place. And it's not necessarily the big and extensive refinements and changes that make the biggest difference in terms of creating a really smooth workflow, though. It often comes down to the smallest alteration, an adjustment of some kind of detail or bug, if we put it in programming terms. If you are anything like me, the little bugs will slightly annoy and frustrate you. At the moment, I'm bothered by some packaging bags that still haven't got their proper place in my office, which means that they keep falling to the floor and are in my way. I'm also annoyed by a tracksuit I got while working, if you can believe it, but which is in the wrong size and I therefore have to get rid of. And a new routine I have not implemented fully yet, but still need to do every week, accompanied by moans and groans since it's far too complicated. No big deals, really, but frustrating and annoying. If you ask yourself what the cause or reason for the thing annoying you is, and then the cause of that cause, and so on, you will ultimately end up with some kind of original cause or reason. If you eliminate this, whatever it was that bothered you will be eliminated in the process as well. No more hassle, no more annoyance. But if it is that easy, why do we have so many small but annoying things bothering us? It's usually not that the amending or adjusting of these original causes takes much time or is very difficult. It's just that we rarely get around to asking ourselves what's actually wrong, what the root cause of our problem is, and then take the time to fix it when we have a lot of other things going on. If you gradually make note of the bugs and hindrances you encounter in your everyday life on a list, you will soon have them all rounded up and easy to get an overview of. You can then consciously decide to deal with one every week, every other week, or whenever you feel inspired to and want to feel that you have done something constructive and concrete to make your life a tad better. Do this. If you want to make your life smoother and easier by getting rid of bugs, then decide where and in what form you will keep your bug list. It's a good idea to keep it somewhere that synchronizes with all the digital units you use, since you then have access to it almost everywhere and it will be readily available the moment you think of something that needs fixing or improving. I keep my bug list in the Notes app on my phone, which means it's available on my computer and iPad as well. Start your list off by writing down all the annoying little bugs you can spontaneously think of. Decide if you will deal with the items on the list on a regular and structured basis, or if you will pick things off it to fix at random. If you want to get rid of the small annoyances of life faster and more often, add a recurring task to one of the days of the week during which you take a look at the bug list, select one of its problems and do something about it. Because if you gather all the small but annoying things you are bothered by in a single list, you will soon have quite the number of things you can improve upon. Instead of constantly being reminded that you should have done something about that frustrating and faulty thing, you can now have a look at the list and do a small but conscious effort to amend, correct or fix whatever has been bothering you, and thus make your life and work a little smoother and more pleasant. Just imagine how great it will feel to not have that annoying thing annoying you anymore. What's your way for getting rid of all these sources of irritation and annoyance? Have you found some other way to deal with them? If so, Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me about your method or best tip. I'm eager to hear about your way. Do you know someone who might find it useful to establish a bug list? If you do, tell them about this simple yet effective way to feel more joyous and less annoyed in life. The more of us who are happy and content throughout our workdays, the better all our lives become. Thank you for joining me today and see you again next week.